Yeah, we're filling. Hello, I'm Dan. My name's Mairead. Welcome back to another episode of Nearby Veggies. Today, Dan's going to show you a little bit about our off-grid water system here on our little farm in Portugal. And I'll be showing you other little bits. So what do we do for water? Where does our water come from and why do we need water? In order to grow anything, you need water. In many parts of the world, this comes from rain. In Portugal, uh, there's not enough rain in the summertime to, uh, to keep things growing healthily and productive. So we've got to water, irrigate, um, or pray for rain. Dan is going to switch on the water. It goes from deep down under that concrete slab and into, into the tank that he's standing on now. When we bought this land, the estate agent told us that there was a borehole here. When we actually came to the land, after we'd finished signing everything, the previous owner had cleared the trees and the brush from here. Um, and we still couldn't see much, but this was just earth, brambles, and uh, rubble. The previous owner told us that 20 years ago, the council had uh, reversed a big machine into the pump house and knocked it over onto the well. I set about clearing the top of here. I carried on clearing and gradually as I cleared I found more bits of metal from this um, and that was a manual pump. So we keep the hole in the top of the well covered so that people and animals don't fall in but let's have a look inside. A mesh to keep the small animals out. This well looks like it is chiselled out of solid stone. I don't know how much you'll be able to see but there's a ledge down there that we couldn't see last year. Oh, knocked a bit of dust down. And you can see our pipe going down in the bottom of the screen. So we've pumped the water out of the well into our IBC. 1,000 litres of water here. As you can see, it's very orange. That is due to the iron content in the, uh, in the ground here. Can we drink this water? Maybe, but we don't. We don't particularly want to drink orange water. <laughs> the first bucket of water sure out of our well. I'm not sure it's something you want to drink. <laughs> Just a wee bit of grass. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. It smells okay, but I'm not drinking it. So where do we get our drinking water from? We take it from the municipal uh, water fountain in the village. Very good water, it's free. In the future, we will have mains water. It's only about 40 metres away, so we'll use it.
this is the pond, which is really a spring-fed well. Uh, every time we come down here, frogs hop. The frogs have been a real joy. It wasn't like this when we got here. We couldn't actually see here because it was surrounded completely with brambles. How do we get our water? The water comes from down deep down in the well and we've got a 12 volt submersible pump uh, on the end of this pipe. We've got a small 12 volt battery a solar panel and a charge controller and a switch. This pump arrangement has a capacity to pump about a tonne of water, so fill the IBC in a bit less than an hour, which is fine. We can pump, we've got enough battery power here to pump for about two hours when it's fully charged and it fully charges in, in about a day. Is this enough? Maybe not. How much water did we have last year? How much water do we have now? How much do we use? So let's do a quick bit of uh, maths. How big is our well? It's about three meters, 40 centimeters or 11 feet in diameter. Can we take a bit off for the wall? We have a three meter diameter well, approximately. Area of the top of the well by R squared equals area. So half of three is 1.5. So that equals, I check my notes, 7.1 meters squared. Now we want to work out the volume. Uh, string with a shackle on it for a weight and we're going to drop this in and find out how deep it is which is 10 meters from the top all the way to the bottom last summer we measured the depth uh, several times over the summer and it did not change it was seven and a half meters at the beginning of the summer and still seven and a half meters come september so to get the volume, we're going to multiply the area by the depth. We've got 53 metres cubed of water last year, which is 53,000 litres. We dipped the well at the beginning of June and we had five and a half metres of water. 20. Two. We had five and a half meters, which gives us 39 cubic meters or 39,000 liters. We dipped the well today on the 9th of July and we've only got 1.7 meters, which gives 1.7 meters gives us 12 cubic meters. or 12,000 litres. In about a month, the water level has gone down by 27 cubic metres of water. Now, I think that is far more than we're using. We think we're using about four cubic metres a week, just for watering the trees and vegetables that we're growing for food. How much longer is this water going to last us? Well, on our four cubic metres a week, then maybe it's going to last us for three weeks. Most of Portugal is in a severe or extreme drought. We've been dowsing for water. See our first experiments in dowsing and uh, I thought it was woo-woo. I was very sceptical about if we could make make it work. Murray thought was very sceptical and also thought it was woo-woo. Let's 
see where the water is. Does this actually work or is it a load of nonsense? We know there's water here. So let's just see if this thing works. Or is it a load of gobbledygook? <laughs> oh God, that's so funny. Let me walk away. Right, let me try again. <laughs> you gotta do this. <laughs> you gotta do this. <laughs> Well, we're here at the river beach and I remember last year it's been really cold. This year it's way warmer. There is no initial shock. It's just beautiful. Thank you once again. Um, what we'd love to leave you with is to make some of these dowsing rods, uh, if only to dispel your skepticism and have a bit of fun. Uh, honestly, it's been such an exciting discovery <laughs> this week. <laughs>